You know when people find out you're a rider, they always have a few questions. One of the first ones is usually, have you written anything I've ever heard of? And I used to always tell them the truth, you know. I used to always say, probably not, but there's no fun in that. So these days when somebody asks me that, I'll just say, I don't know. Have I? Or I'll say, uh, well, that depends how well read you are, doesn't it? So, but the second question I get is what kind of stuff do you write? And uh, I don't know what people expect, but I can promise you women's fiction is not it. So, usually they'll laugh and think I'm joking, but really I'm not. That's where most of my fiction lies, is women's fiction. Uh, I do write some humor. My first book, The Feed Store Chronicles, was purely humor, coming of age, tell about my youth working at a feed store for uh, what I always describe as a morally bankrupt boss. But anyway, my, my, my first novel and second book, Twisted Roads, was women's fiction, and I've, I started that book 13 years before it was published. And, Truth of it is, when I started writing it, I didn't set out to write a women's fiction novel. I didn't even know what I was writing. I started out with a couple of characters, and I wanted to tell their tale. One of the characters wasn't really based on a friend, but was based on a friend's situation. You know, kind of a... I just started telling a what if... What if a person had figured out after years of being in love with a person they couldn't have that that wasn't the real love of them in the first place if that makes any sense you know what if you spent all your two decades wanting a person thinking they were your soulmate only to find out you were completely wrong so the glare on my glasses is bothering me so I might have to start squinting but I'm gonna take off my glasses here for just a minute Anyway, getting back to why I write women's fiction, I guess the term women's fiction is well used, and I really don't like it, because I, I, not that I mind being described as a women's fiction author, most of my favorite authors are women's fiction, I'm flattered, honored to be put in the same category as them. I just think it limits, it keeps some men from reading books that they would enjoy. Uh, to define women's fiction, I, I've heard many different definitions. I guess the best one is to say it's the uh, emotional journey of a female character. Um, it doesn't mean all the characters are female. It doesn't mean it's always about female issues. It doesn't mean it has romance. Some of them do, some of them don't. Um, to me, they're just character-driven stories about real people. That's what I enjoy writing. That's what I most enjoy reading. Um, why I write that, I really don't know. I was raised by a single mom, a hairdresser. I spent lots of time sitting over in the uh, shadows while she was doing people's hair, listening to their conversations when they probably didn't realize I was listening, maybe hearing the drama of real life soaked in at a young age. I don't know if that's where it came from, or I, I read everything as a kid, you know, the encyclopedia book, brown books. Uh, Beverly Cleary, Judy Bloom. I think it's when I first started reading Judy Bloom and she's tackling real world problems, real world things. Yes, from a female character's point of view. Those books felt very real, less like stories, more like real life. Maybe that's where it came from. I, I really don't know why I write women's fiction. I just write characters driven stories. And I hope other people find the characters and their plots and their problems and all of that as engaging as I do. So I don't know if that explains anything or just muddies the water, but 
that's my post for today. So, talk to y'all later. Thanks. Bye.